obviously most people think of Chicago style pizza as deep dish in the pan. I hate that. You hate deep dish? I went with a food critic to one of these pizzerias in yeah. Chicago. I walked out. No. Yeah. Uh, Did not pass the Wolfgang yeah. Puck vibe <laughs> check. If you think Chicago pizza is all about deep dish, you've got it all wrong. For decades, ultra-thin, tavern-style pizza has been the dominant slice in the Windy City. And for this bar pizza showdown, I'm going head-to-head -head with Steven Cusato from the YouTube channel, Not Another Cooking Show. Steve is a student of regional cooking styles and an overall whiz in the kitchen, so I know he's going to bring the heat today. Pizza this good calls for a pair of iconic judges. Wolfgang Puck is a certified legend in the pizza game thanks to his smoked salmon pies at Spago. And Adam Richmond is a Food TV trailblazer who ate his way across the country on Man vs. Food. Will Adam and Wolfgang appreciate my take on a tavern style pie? There's only one way to find out. Steve Cusano is in the building today. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for having me. I couldn't be more excited to be making pizzas with you today. All right, well, let's get right into it. We're doing tavern style. That's right. Now, what made you want to jump into tavern style? What I do on the show is I get obsessed with like a classic dish and I try and figure out like what makes that so good and how to make it in my vision. The interesting thing about tavern style pizza is that it's really thin. It's like a cracker. Right. And that kind of makes it a little complicated to make. Too many toppings, you have a problem. Too little toppings, it's no good. If the crust isn't crispy all the way through the bottom, then you're gonna have problems. So it seems simple, it's rather complicated, but we're gonna give it a shot today. I think you're gonna give it a great shot. So step one, I got my dough. So in New York, you might see them tossing with the hands. This is a little bit more of a delicate dough. We wanna get it as thin as we can, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be perfectly crisp. And we got this thing called a docker, or just something like that. Mm. It's just gonna allow any of the air bubbles to kind of be inhibited. And then we're going in with the sauce. We're swapping out tomatoes for vodka sauce. I'm just gonna gently work that around the pizza. Now that we've got our sauce on, the methodical application of toppings begins. And we're okay. gonna start with Parmigiano-Reggiano. Okay. And then we're going to grate low moisture mozzarella. Okay. And then on top of the low moisture mozzarella, we're gonna use dried fresh mozzarella. It looks good. Next we wanna do is the pepperoni. And so now with the jalapenos, I'm looking at like the, the spaces in between the pepperoni. Right. Next up, we're going bell pepper. And then on top of that, sliced onion. Okay. And then I have a little bit of oregano that goes right on top. So all the toppings are on there. It's looking good. I'm happy with it. It's time to get it in the oven. All right, let's go. It's ready, so we're gonna pull out the pizza. Oh, that booty's looking good. It's got a nice crust, so we're just gonna let it sit. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make a little hot honey. Ooh, we and love that. All that we're gonna do is take a little bit of honey and then some sriracha. And here's the square cut. Okay. Right? You've just got these great little squares. They're just so devourable. Once you pop, you can't stop. I know. Should we try? Yes, I already know which one I want. This one, oh. right? Yeah. First, I just wanna admire your creation. It's like paper thin. Now I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. I'm happy with it. The possibilities for something like this are endless, mm -hmm. but I think at the end of the day, this is how I want it. Mm -hmm. And I'm enjoying a slice. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. That crunch, mm -hmm. get out of here. All right, Steve, are you ready to see what I'm gonna do? I'm dying, let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is roll this dough out. Super duper thin. But I also want it to be not too thin so it can support the toppings. Yeah, it's a delicate balance with this. Now that my dough is in my pan, stretched all the way out, I'm gonna dock it. I like to dock it around in a circle so I get all the way to the end of the crust. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sauce, just my regular marinara sauce that I usually use. I also like the burnt cheese on the edges. So what I have here is some cheddar cheese, just for a little weight. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the cheese I'm going to use in the center here. So I'm gonna put this in the oven, and we're gonna par bake it three to four minutes. Now it's time to take this baby out Ooh. and top it. I just put down the mozzarella, shred it. I just love the way it melts different. And now I'm gonna add some fontina. And that's gonna make it gooey. 
and we want gooey. So now I got the pickled green tomatoes. I have some Italian sausage, but I toasted some fennel, and I threw it in there and just seasoned it nice. I love a good pepperoni on a tavern pie. Too. I feel like pepperoni's just supposed to be on a bar yeah. pie. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, Nicole, you're always doing so much, but I had to add a little pepperoni to it too. I'm gonna finish this bake, then I'm gonna take it out this pan, put it directly on the steel so we can get that bottom nice and crispy. You ready? Wow, beautiful. Thank Let's you. Go. It smells delicious, I gotta say. But it's say. smoking, woo! So, that's my thin crust. Look at the Ooh. booty. Booty's looking kinda nice. That's looking kinda nice. All right, so let's finish this bad boy off. So, the Hot Ones Nugget Honey. It has a little heat inside. So let's drizzle some of this on here. And then now we're gonna garnish. The arugula really just brightens the whole look to it, huh? Yeah, it looks good. I gotta say, looks like I'm in trouble. Very legit crust underneath. Nice darkness, not burnt. So hot. It's very delicious. The crust is crispy. The sauce tastes good. The cheese combinations, I don't know. That tomato in there, I'm in trouble. You know, your pie was amazing. I'm pleased with my pie, but we've got pizza legend Wolfgang Puck in the building. That's why we're sweating. It's an iconic moment for both of us. Iconic, and then to add to iconic, we got TV icon Adam Richman. He's my man, I love him. Love man Adam. versus food. Legendary. Legendary. And hopefully they love both of us. And I think they will. We're both winners in my book, so. We are all winners. There's no losers on Peace Awards. No, 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 no. All right, well you know, I adore you, admire you, respect you. Obviously, you helped change the pizza game. Have you had Chicago Tavern style before? Most people think of Chicago style pizza as deep dish in the pan. I hate that. You hate deep dish? I fucking hate it. Why do you hate it? Because it's a mess. It's not the pizza. I <laughs> like the thin crust. I like when the bottom is crispy. Mm -hmm. I remember I went with a food critic to one of these pizzerias in yeah. Chicago. I walked out. No, yeah. did not pass the Wolfgang Puck vibe check. But see, the Chicago Tavern style is so thin. It's like cracker, cracker thin. Could you judge all kinds of pizza by the same yardstick? If I put a Detroit style and I put a thin crust pizza side by side, would you have to change the criteria that you judge by? You know, it's delicious or not delicious. It sucks or oh, it's delicious. So Fair it's enough. Fun. So we have two pizzas to try, yeah. and we will determine if they suck or if they're delicious. Okay, good. God, I love how cold you are, man. Okay, so this is pie number one. Are you okay. a center guy or an egg? Okay, I, I guess uh, I'm an egg one. You get what you get. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, you know, this would be a good pizza to serve at a cocktail party, for example. A little bit of history lesson. That's how Chicago bar pizza was started. Yeah. That's why it's called tavern style. You wouldn't need plates, you'd have little cocktail napkins. Yeah. And you would literally pass slices down to people uh -huh. at the bar. What do you think of it? I like the jalapenos on it, it gives it a little spice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the combo, the bell pepper, the onion, the jalapeno. It almost reminds me of like a Mexican pizza. The edges get a little more dry, a little more yeah. cooked. The center has like a juiciness to it, and I really got that honey. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's very good. I actually like the outside too, because it's crispy, and uh, I think it has a nice crunch to it, so it's really an interesting way. And you know, I make my own style, but I think I'll always love to see something new, and this is really... I think a good pizza for, I think so for a bar. All right, we've already demolished half of this pizza. We have a lot more to go. You ready? I'm ready. I'm still hungry, too. Let's do it. Bring on pizza two, please. All right, pizza number two. What is your first reaction? I think it looks a little heavier than the first one. Mm -hmm. I think it has more cheese on it, obviously. Also, it has some uh, uh, loose sausage on it. Right, very traditional Chicago. Oh, I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. You want a little taste? I would love a taste. So many things going on. Yeah. The toasted fennel, too, is also really prominent. Uh-huh. I love the fennel. I love the arugula on it. And it's really well done on the bottom, too. No wonder it was smoky here a little bit. Now I know where it came <laughs> from, huh? It's the most substantial yeah. of any of the Chicago Tavern style I've had. It's not as light as the other one. Absolutely. But I think it works well together, too. I think, for me, maybe a little bit too much honey. So have we converted you to Chicago Tavern style? No, but I changed my mind. I said Chicago has the worst pizza, 
Now I know they have amazing pizza. I love it. There you go, the boss, the guy, the wolf, the fuck, the guy. All right, we have two very delicious, very different pizzas. We're gonna have to look over the ingredients, think about our experiences, and yeah. get a decision to make. Wolfgang and Adam, thank you so much for being here. Wolfgang, this is definitely a milestone in my career, and Adam, having you back means the world to me. The stakes are so high because you guys are like such like, ah, oh, to both of us. <laughs> So please tell us what you thought of both of our pies. Uh, well, actually, we have a second trophy. Because you guys, <laughs> no, I wish we did. These were two extraordinarily tasty pizzas. What was your opinion? Uh, well, I think I like both of them. I thought for me, they could have both have a little bit more spice on it because I love spices. I think what I love is the thin crust. You both nailed the crust. What's so interesting is you both did a great job, but differently. Okay, Adam, Wolfgang, we gotta know who's the winner. Okay, on three. One, two, two three. Pizza two. Pizza number two. Oh. Thank you so much. Is that your pizza? It's my pizza. I was not a fan of Chicago style pizza because I thought they only had deep dish pizza. Right. You guys changed my mind. I'm gonna go back to Let's Chicago to a tavern and, and try their pizza. Mm -hmm. I hope it's as good as what you made. Uh -oh. I think it will be. I mean, yeah. we both did our best. You guys both have a lot to be proud of. Congratulations Thank on you. the W. Any vodka left over for us? <laughs> uh, I drank it all in preparation <laughs> of meeting you. <laughs> Come get your flowers. Well, thank you so much. All right, look at that. Yay.